Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show y'all how I shape my own eyebrows. You will need a spoolie. You'll also need some tweezers, some brow defining gel or your homemade brow defining gel which I have and I will leave all the information down below. I'm just going to take the spoolie, dip it into my homemade gel and go ahead and put it all over my eyebrows. I'm just trying to get my hair to lay right how they normally would so that when I pluck them they come out looking like how they should. Now that I know what position the hairs on my eyebrows are going to be laying in normally, I'm just going to take my tweezer and go right under the arch. Where my eyebrow is the highest, I'm going to pluck the furthest up my face. Where it is not, I'm going to do the exact same thing and go lower on my face. Following my own arch helps me get around the fact of not knowing what shape to make my eyebrows. If you go along with your natural arch, you are surefire to have a shape that's going to match your face and look good on you. So I'm just going to shape them up a little bit and after I have that defined shape, I'm going to go everywhere else under and above my eyebrow and pluck every remaining hair. I do typically take my time with this because I need my eyebrows to be looking right and I'm not trying to mess anything up because trying to regrow your eyebrows is really a hassle. I take my time. This video was sped up to twice the actual speed it is so that I don't take up 20 years of your life plucking my eyebrows but yes please take your time make sure you're pulling out the hairs you want to get the shape you want occasionally stop look in the mirror add a little more gel find out what you need to do to make it look how you want it to look taking your time and doing it slowly hair by hair helps you get the shape that you want that you know is going to work for you opposed to having these accidents that some people have they'll start to look all cleaned up just like that I'm just gonna go and clean up even more going all the way down my eyelid and on top of my eyebrow going down the eyelid is usually the most uncomfortable for people and it tends to make your eyes water so therefore take your time there too those are usually where the thickest hairs are which is the hardest ones to pluck but go ahead take your time get every little hair that you can I also go right where you'd have a unibrow at if you would, but I just make sure I don't ever have that happen. I just pluck right on the inside of my eyebrow. If you're not comfortable with just plucking your eyebrows with nothing there, go ahead and take a brow pencil of your choice and just lightly outline the shape that you want. Don't fill them in all the way, or if you really want to, go ahead and fill them in all the way. It's just more helpful to be able to see where your hair is laying on your face. So just outline them just a little bit just to get that shape you want, and then pluck everywhere around where you drew your eyebrow at. Now if you have thicker, fuller eyebrows, or both, it's going to take you a whole lot longer to do this, so please be patient because trust me, it will pay off if you are patient opposed to rushing through this. After you're all done plucking, just lay them back down and do a double check. Make sure you have it the way you want and that everything's where it's supposed to be. 
if your eyebrows are long and very thick, you can go ahead and trim some of the longer hair so that they play neatly. Pow, y'all. You done. You done. Eyebrows shaped wonderfully. Now, if you really want to know how to fill them in after you have them all shaped and cleaned up, go ahead and look in the description box and I have a link to my eyebrow tutorial. So, if you guys enjoy this, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.